this is not the scenery in front of my house. This is the scenery in front of my house. The new guinea pig is coming to us. We're currently waiting for the guinea pig to arrive. Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be us getting our new guinea pig and this wasn't planned. Sylvester doesn't know what to expect yet. Sylvester, I'm sorry. It's going to be an exhausting day for you. Load up on more hay. Minnie's already stretching herself to be really prepared and welcome the new guinea pig. Depending on how long you've been following my channel, um, you might know that currently I have four guinea pigs. Nugget, Gatsby, Sylvester and Minnie, <laughs> who's um, I'm not sure where. There's Minnie. I need a shot of your face. Well, good enough I guess. Yeah, there she is. And Minnie. Well, now she's really looking into the camera. So these are my, my four guinea pigs and my fifth guinea pig, Frida, unfortunately passed away after surgery um, a month or one and a half months ago and originally I... the plan was always to get a fifth guinea pig at one point but the plan wasn't to get a fifth guinea pig in the very near future um, but I guess life happens so the new guinea pig just fell into our lap basically um, we didn't look for a new one. I was kind of I planned on looking for a new guinea pig perhaps Towards the end of the year or beginning of next so I wasn't really planning on getting a fifth guinea pig like so very close to now But we're currently waiting for our fifth guinea pig um, we didn't really plan on getting her it just happened I need to clean out the cage. So we are going to do the introduction outside so Here um, the space that we also use for floor time, that's where we're going to do the introduction. I'm going to put up a fence and lay some fleece liners down um, and that's where we're going to do everything. I always like for the new guinea pig and for our older guinea pigs um, to have a fresh cage um, once the introduction is over and they all go back inside the cage because the cage is obviously our guinea pig's cage so they know everything but I kind of want to take away some of the home advantage and just clean everything out so that it doesn't smell like entirely like our guinea pigs but I'm not going to like go all out about removing all smells so I'm not going to take vinegar and like scrub down everything I'm just going to wash the fleece liners and then put new fleece liners in um, so that everything is fresh and then I'm going to change the setup a tiny bit so that all of the guinea pigs have to explore the setup once they like once the introduction is over and they go back inside their cage. Um, and Nugget is just really, looks just really adorable staring into the camera. So this is the plan. I know that if you're really scared about like your guinea pigs being super territorial and stuff, you can clean out the entire cage and then take vinegar and water and just scrub down everything. Um, but um, so far we've never had to do that so I'm not going to do it this time. And also I always think that if you introduce a male into the group or if you have a board group then that is like a really good idea and you should probably do that just because they tend to be more territorial um, but so far every time we introduced a female it was okay so um, we're not going to do that that's the plan for today currently waiting for the new guinea pig uh, Sylvester but sometimes he just is a bit more confused or it just takes longer for him to wake up and that's totally fine like he's six he's a senior guinea pig that's totally normal um, but still, you know, these are the, the first signs of older age. Um, I hope the introduction is not going to be too much for him. At the same time, Sylvester also seems to be the one that's super happy, happy and that always becomes super active whenever we introduce a new guinea pig into the herd. So, um, yeah. Hey, Minnie, are you so ready for the new guinea pig? <laughs> this is also going to be Nugget's very first introduction. So we'll see um, how she reacts. Nugget! Nugget is the baby of the group and she's going to stay the baby of the group um, but still Nugget is, uh, <laughs> has never participated in an introduction really because when we got Nugget she was such a teeny tiny baby that we really didn't do a proper introduction because when guinea pigs are that tiny um, they have like the baby status in the group um, so the guinea pigs are not going to do the whole rumble strutting chasing kind of dance um, because they don't really see a baby as, um, yeah, really being part of the hierarchy. It's just a baby. It still needs to learn stuff. And I think this is true kind of like until 
like week eight or week nine of their life. Frida introduced Nugget into the herd basically and everyone just uh, took care of her um, and was really nice to her. So Nugget never really participated in an introduction so we'll see how she fares. Nugget couldn't care less. <laughs> And we have our new guinea pig. She just arrived and we're setting everything up for the introduction. And I can show you a sneak peek. And as you know or might not know, maybe you recognize her. This is Lulu, my mom's guinea pig, and unfortunately I have to give you bad news in this video, it's supposed to be a happy video, but Domino passed away. And my mom and I always had, so my mom had two guinea pigs, Domino and Rosa, and when Rosa passed away, my mom kind of said that she wasn't really sure whether she wanted to continue um, caring for guinea pigs because she has back problems um, and it's really hard for her to clean the cage and everything um, so she got kind of a lone guinea pig and a lone guinea pig means if you um, have guinea pigs and one dies you need to get a new partner for the remaining guinea pig um, because it's going to be really lonely otherwise and that's not fair to the remaining guinea pig but obviously then the cycle of keeping guinea pigs never ends um, so what a lot of rescues um, here offer is that you get a lone guinea pig and a lone guinea pig is a partner guinea pig that you get for your remaining guinea pig and that is going to keep your remaining guinea pig company until your remaining guinea pig passes away and then you give the lone guinea pig back to the rescue and then it's going to find a forever home. Um, and every guinea pig is just a lone guinea pig once in their lifetime so that they don't um, get introduced into new groups all the time. Um, yeah, so my mom got Lulu as a lone guinea pig. And Domino wasn't that old. My mom got him when he was a really small baby. Um, so he wasn't that old, but my mom kind of noticed that Domino was um, showing signs of old age, which was which is really unusual because Domino was, I think, three or four years old. So not really that old. My mom went to the vet countless of times, so kind of the last half a year was just filled with vet visits. And they couldn't really find out what's wrong with him, that he was looking unusually old even though he was only three years old um, and they were like all saying well if you got him from a rescue are you really sure about his age but like my mom got him when he was a teeny tiny baby so well first of all he was born at the rescue so they definitely knew when he was born and my mom picked him up um, at the person's place um, where he was born so they definitely knew that he was a small baby and then also of course baby guinea pigs are just really small and have a tiny body and like really big paws so you definitely recognize a baby guinea pig and can distinguish a baby guinea pig from a grown-up guinea pig so there wasn't really any question of whether he was just really older than he appeared but all the vets were like are you really sure he's only three or four years old because he really looks like he's six or seven he looks like a really old guinea pig like a senior guinea pig so he was just sleeping a lot not really waking up so my mom kind of prepared for the worst and knew that something like that could happen and then fortunately Domino passed away um, and my mom and I always had the deal because even though Lulu was a lone guinea pig my mom really loves her and can't really give her back and just wants to stay involved in her life so my mom and I always had the deal that if something were to happen to Domino I would take care of Lulu and this is the story of how we got Lulu um, my mom just came down to my place to bring Lulu to us. This is going to be a new chapter in Lulu's life. She never lived in a herd. This is the first time she's going to live in a herd. Lulu has had quite a drive behind her, right Lulu? And you can hear the guinea pigs in the back being already loud and saying hi to her. So there are our guinea pigs and in case you're wondering for the introduction area we have all of our fleece liners outside um, so there's one missing in the middle um, so there's only three fleece liners in the cage and the guinea pigs think it's hilarious so they're all constantly running on the punt liner because it's so much fun <laughs> and Jamini's exploring the circus ID 
But yeah, the guinea pigs are already squeaking and saying hi to Lulu. They already smelled her, I think, um, when we walked in. Gatsby's already at the door, ready for the introduction. This is the introduction area, which I'm going to show you in more detail in the next vlog, because by the time we're finished with the introduction, it's probably going to be really late. But here's Lulu. Rearranging the pet kitty. And I think this is going to be it for today's vlog. We're going to start with the introduction. Lulu just built herself a Heidi. And see you guys next time!